welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to be doing grooming for both Dante and Peach, my kind of corsos. We're going to go over absolutely everything from nail trimming, um, brushing their coat, um, giving them a shower, and I'll just be talking to you guys about the things that I do for both of them. This video has been requested, so I'm very happy to be posting it. I have posted a grooming video before, um, but that was just with Dante, and now I have two. <laughs> As you can see, I have this little girl here and this little, okay, yeah, okay. Before we get started on this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I would love to hit 10K by the end of this month. We only need 1,500 subscribers more, so let your friends know, let your family know, whoever, um, and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Once we get to 10K, I have a very special announcement to make, so use that as an incentive. Right, girl? All right, um, so let's get started. All right, Peachy girl. You wanna go first? Or how about you, Dad? You wanna go first? So the first thing that I like to do is brush their coat before I give them a shower. I kind of developed this habit after having Dante and giving him a shower indoors um, in our house because I noticed that every time I would give him a bath in our bathtub, like the whole bathroom would be covered in hair. So I kind of just learned to do this out of habit um, because I felt like every time I brushed his hair before I gave him a shower it was less of a mess to clean up in the bathroom so now I just do that um, regardless even though I'm giving them a shower outside so I guess Peach is the first girl up yeah here come here girl come here so as you can see she's wagging her tail she loves to get groomed when she was younger um, she didn't really understand what this was and she kind of wanted to bite it and play with it but after doing it a couple of times, um, she learned to stay still, um, and I always made sure that I made this a positive experience for her, so when she saw this, she wouldn't run away or something. Same thing with Dante. Dante loves this. He really loves to get brushed. Right, Dante? You love to get brushed. Are you excited? I will put a link for this brush in the description. As you can see, it has very small teeth. So it really does take out a lot of any extra fur that's on her. And I don't know if you guys can see, but a lot of it is coming off. Come here, girl. Girl, she really likes it there. <laughs> he loves to put a brush behind your ears. Santa, your turn. Somebody asked me what kind of shampoo I use for them. I honestly love all the products from Booty Dog. I'll leave all the links in the description for everything that I'm using. But the reason I love Booty Dog so much is because, first of all, all of their stuff smells great and it doesn't smell too harsh. So everything, all of the ingredients in here are natural. A lot of the scents are actually from essential oils and I just feel really good about using these products on Dante and Peach because I know that they are going to be gentle on their skin and all of their packaging is also recyclable so I just feel really good about buying any of these things. Dante, you ready? Can you take a shower? Yes, you love showers! As I mentioned, as I mentioned before, I got both of them to like taking showers because taking showers and getting grooming because they get a lot of attention and I always made sure to make it a nice positive experience. I think that also obedience training helps a lot because I, that makes me spend a lot more time with them when we do training and I think that it makes our relationship grow and they have 
more respect and more trust. So now I'm gonna let him marinate. Go ahead, Dante, marinate. Your turn, girl. Come here, Peachy. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. Good girl. What a nice shower. Good girl. Dante, are you blocking the camera for chance? Hey guys, so I just finished giving them a shower um, and now it's nail trimming time. I am actually, sorry. <laughs> No, do not bother her. Sit. 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 Come on. Sit. You too, I'm trying to make that. Sit. Sit. Peach. Sit. Stay there. No. Okay. Break, but leave your brother alone. Good girl. So. I get a lot of questions about nail trimming. I think it's a known fact that dogs generally feel very sensitive about getting their paws handled. I think it's just for them it's uncomfortable, you know, and I think that there has to be a lot of trust involved. So I think that that is why a lot of you guys ask about it because maybe your dog doesn't like it and especially when you have a big dog like this, the way that they show that they don't like something a lot of times is through growling, um, showing teeth. And when it's a big dog like this, I think that people often get more taken aback or more scared, um, as opposed to if you had a little dog and a little dog snapped at you. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do for Dante. And I think that this is also gonna be a really cool opportunity to display how I have to treat them differently because they have different temperaments. Peach, as I've mentioned before to you guys, is more laid back, very food driven. Dante is more um, protective, he's a little bit more strong willed. Um, so for him, treats don't work. For him, it's about giving him a strong hand. Now, I honestly don't think he's gonna give me any issues because we have trained a lot for him to get to be to a point that he's very comfortable with the nail trimming. I'll do, I think I'll do peach first. Or do you wanna do your Dante? Do you want to do, do you want to cut your oh, giving me pause to cut your nails first? The approach that I take with Dante is I don't give him a choice. I don't give him an option to get cranky at me um, if I'm gonna trim his nails. I just go in head first. And I think that for dogs that are very strong willed like that and that need uh, that are very dominant, they do well when you are confident. They feel that if you hesitate it makes your dog think that there's room for negotiation. So let me show you how I'm gonna trim down two nails. Perfect, so this is actually right where I like for him to be. Some people like to have their dogs um, standing up. For Dante, it's whatever, pop. Good boy, each at him. Good 
boy. Very good boy. Good boy. Very good boy, Dante. Good boy. Good boy. It took a long process for him to be this calm like this because he really hates getting his nose. Buddy, I need your last meal. Here you go. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're such a good boy. So I'm extremely cautious never to cut his quick because that is going to set us back a ton. Dante, when he was younger, he had a lot of vet visits because of his epilepsy. So a lot of the times the vet would trim the na his nails for him because she would offer to do it and it was no big deal. But what that did in the end is that it made him get used to not being handled by us. So when he started to get a lot better and I started to try to trim his nails again, he would like be totally against it like he would growl in his doggy terms telling me to get away from him what i did is i put him on the e-collar um if you guys want to know more about the e-collar i made a video about that but pretty much the e-collar serves as a way to correct your dog and anytime i've noticed him growl a little bit or try to start running away i would give him a correction with the e-collar i would tell him the command off which he understands as stop this behavior right now. This is unacceptable. I did that until he really didn't need the e-collar anymore, as you guys saw. After a couple of times of trimming his nails, he knows that it's nothing bad, that everything's gonna be okay. And I also make sure to be very careful and not cutting his quick and making it hurt because if he does have a bad experience, that can set us back by a lot. Girl, wait. Good girl. Paw. Good girl. So as you guys can see, she wants to play. Down. All right, sniff it all you want. Oh, that's so cool, right? Yep. Very cool. Okay, good girl. Peach, wait. So, this is the struggle she's giving me. All right, Peach, are we gonna have to do treats? Because you can't hold still because you think this is a game. Everybody on YouTube is gonna say, oh, look at Peach, she's trying to catch her tail in the middle of trimming her nails. She gets like this, and then she lets me do it. Good girl! Oh, you guys can see it, but she's giving me her little nails. Cutting upside down, probably not the best recommendation, but here we go. Good girl. Last part of a grooming is putting on some nose balm and some paw balm. It's getting cold again, right? So they have big paws and they get dry very easily. So I like to put a little bit of paw balm on them. Also for like hotter places, this is nice to put on them if they go to the beach because the ground is really hot, right? So it just gives them a protective layer so that they don't burn themselves. And then there's nose balm, which is pretty much serves the same purpose as the paw balm. 
thick, thick girl. You know what this is, girl. They do lick it, but it, it's like pretty thick, so it does stay there. Oh my god, you're such a good boy. 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 video i hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like it's the longest grooming video i've done today uh, because i had to stop in between but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to check out the links in the description if you're interested in getting any of the things that i talked about um let me know what you guys have done to make this whole process a little bit easier for yourself i know that some people um, might have different techniques with their dogs, so I'm interested in hearing what you guys do. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can get to 10k by the end of the month. Uh, tell your friends, tell your family, and yeah, I'm super excited. Have a lot of fun videos lined up for you guys, so we will see you soon. Bye!